Hi, I want to talk a little bit about Steve uh, Jobs uh, stepping down from Apple. Um, Apple is sort of an important company in its history, and you guys might not be as familiar with all of the, the little steps. So I want to tell you the arc and what this means to me. Now, first of all, uh, Jobs' partner in the Apple was, was a guy named Steve Wozniak, or as we geeks like to call him, the Woz. And this is the guy, after making all his money with Apple, you know, he went back and taught sixth grade math or something like this for years. He's a, he's um, he's the cool one, and Jobs is the asshole. On the other hand, Jobs is a an amazing genius of an asshole, and with his reality distortion field uh, so effective, there's something special about him. Him stepping down it, it raises questions like, what's going to happen to Cuba after Castro's gone? And Castro sat, <laughs> he stepped down. He sat down, and uh, we get his brother. He hasn't really stepped down yet, so that one we're still waiting for. But Jobs is actually uh, stepping down. It's going to change things. So uh, my first computer was an Apple II computer. I've always loved Apple. I had sometimes romantic ideas. I've never been a like an Apple aficionado. I wasn't particularly an Apple user. I mean, even to this day, my preferred type of system is, is Linux. I've ended up with Apples. I have a relative that works for Apples. We get Apples a little cheaper. This person has also gifted us with some Apples. And they are great computers. They, they're addictive. They're hard to give up because they're Unix underneath, which makes them really useful. And then they're just awesome on the surface, unlike Windows. So I use them now a lot. But... Um, but I, I have had romantic ideas about the company Apple, but I've never really been an Apple head or anything. So, just so you know where I'm coming from, I like the Apple IIe. That's where my Apple love comes from. Now, I was also just in love when the Lisa came out, which predated the Macintosh. And then when they came out with the first Macintosh, I was so ready for it, so interested, like at 14 or 15 or whatever. You know, I went to the presentation they gave of it, and I was blown away. I, I thought I was looking at the future of computing, and I was right. Now, the interesting thing about Apple is that Jobs hired an MBA-type regular old executive to help him run Apple way back when, a, a guy from Pepsi. I mean, it wasn't even the guy from Coke. To run Apple, please. The guy from Pepsi to run Apple is the only mistake I really know of. of a business mistake that I, I know of jobs making. The result of was that was that this incompetent asshole drove jobs out of the company. And he had to go off in the wilderness, do his own thing, make Pixar into a big success. Uh, Apple pies Pixar or invests or whatever and then ends up no no. No, he did do that with Pixar, but he he started next which made an awesome machine, maybe one of the best machines ever built, but it didn't catch on. And, um, and Apple invests and buys that and ends up taking him back to CEO. Now, the funny part of that, I mean, that kind of stuff goes on all the time in corporations, but the funny thing this time is it worked. I mean, Apple had had the Newton and was languishing and then, you know, they'd lost their mojo. This guy comes back, he starts coming up with ideas like, well, let's make candy-colored Macintoshes. <laughs> let's make this and that. And it's like, nobody's going to love, wow, they love those, Steve. Awesome, what do you have next? Well, I'd like to make a little music player. Oh, and then that's a success. I mean, Jobs has this, this fusion of design, both classical design, consumer product design as well as with the you know, kind of design that goes in design magazines and architects get all excited about. Uh, consumer design, the kind you have in, in consumer art, uh, right through to street art, graffiti. He just understands style and technology at the same time. And even when the style doesn't appeal to me, you got to look and go, oh, well, he obviously knew what he was doing. And then often, if you wait long enough and try it, you go, wow, this really is revolutionary. He has a gift for that. It's amazing when someone has a gift for that, especially when 
you know, they are kind of an asshole, too. So, I, uh, I wish Apple good luck. They've done some great things for technology. I'm glad that they've survived. I'm glad that they pulled it off. I'm glad that they are giving us a BMW or a Porsche in this, you know, computer world where everybody's driving Fiat's for some reason. And, uh, so I'm, I'm worried for Apple. I want them to continue revolutionizing consumer electronics. And I hope they can pull that off. 